So today we're gonna to look at the differences between the new Bolt version two and Lovable AI and Cloud. So I thought I'd go through some of the feature differences first, and then I'll talk about when you should use each one and for what type of project. So now, okay, we have that, the same idea in both products, right? We have the database, authentication, server functions, secrets, user management, and file storage. Very similar now in Lovable, you can see the same thing. We have databases, storage, this is working better in Lovable than in Bolt so far. Edge functions, okay, these are very important, but that's the same thing here as uh, the server functions are very similar, the secrets, and you've got logs here as well. So these are basically the new updates that we can now have Superbase. Instead of connecting to Superbase, we can now just do all these things here and everything is stored in tables. It's kind of like a, a layer above a Superbase. So really nice to have these features. I'm super happy with it. So other differences you might see here, Lovable has the voice here so you can do the voice and it will tell what you're actually saying and of course bolt is using cloud code agent now instead of its own agent which is here uh, lovable is using its own agent and i think they're using cloud sonnet 4.5 so they are some of the differences what you'll see really is that a lot of things are the same so lovable also has these checks that you can do for seo which is pretty cool you can do some seo checks accessibility and performance and security checks and analytics so from what i can see both teams have been working really hard on trying to improve these products and make it easier and easier for people to actually use these tools so i do really like both tools to be honest i'm probably a little bit more biased towards bolt.new uh, just basically because of this cloud code agent right if you want to build something the way that it works is it creates a plan and can do all the things for you i really think it's a very very powerful way to actually create with these ai tools if you're a developer you can use this in your ide and stuff like that but here it's great because we can have our profile our preview here that we can see we can use cloud code under the hood and we can get the preview right now so this landing page for example was done in one shot so you can see it looks really really good i just asked for a landing page and boom it made it all in one go so super super powerful and one huge benefit of lovable is this here the ai is enabled right so you just get to use the ai gemini in this case without an api so you can see here i didn't actually have to even add my api to use this to make this tool so it's an email tool and you can see here in the secrets that it's just using the lovable API key. So I don't even need to pay for generations uh, up to a certain point. It's a dollar per month, which doesn't sound like a lot, but actually if I had this email tool, for example, I could do like hundreds of emails here and I still don't even get charged. So I really like that. I think that's a really good feature. So you can see how it works. You have up to $25 of credits for the database. So to be honest, that's plenty. It depends on obviously how big you're scaling your app to, but that's plenty. And for the AI, you can see, well, it's free right now while I'm recording up until this date, but I mean, it's still very, very cheap. So I really like that. In terms of Bolt, you get all of this database for free. So you don't have to pay for all these projects on Superbase and go in there. So I'm really, really happy with this massive updates this week if you ask me but let's get on to which tool i think you should use for building which project so th these tools are very very similar i just want to start off by saying that so most projects that you build in bolt will also be able to be built in lovable i think the big difference really is the cloud code i don't know whether lovable will add that soon but cloud code is great at getting you know tons and tons of features so Really what you want to think about is like, does your app have loads of features? Because if it's got lots and lots of features, then Cloud Code might be able to better deal with building all of those out step by step. It's just great at making a plan. So think of something like a directory website where you have lots and lots of pages. You can send off the Cloud Code agent to go off and build all those pages for you. So that could be a super good use case for Bolt maybe like a web app with many, many integrations. So the size now of Bolt projects can be you know, much, much bigger and they've got their own hosting. So it's really, really good. For Lovable, on the other hand, I feel like it's a little bit more for simple projects and Bolt more for complex projects. And I don't really mean that in a bad way, to be honest. It's like simple projects are really important, especially if you're building a prototype or something like that. So this is like a really good example of when I would probably choose Lovable is a simple AI SaaS prototype. Obviously you could build that in Bolt too as well, but I feel like this is something that Lovable would be very good at. You get to test out the free credits, the AI credits with Gemini. So that's just a really good way to get going. You can see all your users. So if you wanna build something simple, 
uh, and useful, then I'd probably just go straight to lovable. Another tool that you can use for this is Base44. And again, that's for really, really simple tools, uh, really beginner stuff. If you don't have a lot of experience building with any of these tools, you can definitely use this one. It's really fast as well. So that's something I like about Base44. So what am I talking about? A simple AI SaaS prototype. So really kind of something like this, it could be obviously be more complex, like a, a SEO writing tool or something like that. But this is just a very simple tool, just like an introduction email and say okay intro to my new team and then you just click generate and then i'm using the ai the open the gemini here so i don't have to pay for this so something simple ai you can even embed this into your wordpress websites or something like that just ask for an iframe just say so you can say give me an iframe to embed this tool into my wordpress website so for building these little tools really really handy so then you just need to put the iframe in and the code in the content editor there so super easy to build things like this to add to your website obviously i don't know whether you have the budget to have both subscriptions to Bolt and Lovable. I have both of them. So this is great for just getting those tools, get going fast. You know, I think this is really, really good tool to get going and testing out stuff as fast as possible. Then for something a little bit more complex, maybe with different, you know, in this case, I have 11 labs API int uh, integrated. So I need to save more things. It could be a good idea for you to, you know, tons and tons of features here. So one thing I'm just asking Cloud Code to do is just improve my app, improve my app, and it creates all of these things, which is pretty amazing to me. It's just building out all my features for me. I don't even need to think about it. The power of Cloud is absolutely incredible. Anyway, let me know if you have any thoughts yourself down below. I would love to read your comments because they're quite similar tools, but I just thought I would give you a little hand trying to think which tool is right for which situation. Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.